We're Chef Siotam. And Helen. We're going to be making and decorating meringues while we talk about holiday baking and our book, Sweet. Should we get started? Let's do it. I guess I know how to uh, work with meringues because I've been making them for many years. I started off in the kitchen whipping up egg whites for a chef, a pastry chef. You haven't stopped, have you? And I haven't Still stopped, going. yeah. The key to a miraculous meringue is having your egg whites at room temperature when you start and then beating very, very thoroughly. You also want to add the sugar in stages, not all at once and at the right time when it's nice and frothy. Uh, here we go. I met Helen about 10 years ago and we're both obsessed about cakes. And not just cakes. Sweet things in particular. Yeah. The way it works is that we get together, we talk about cakes um, forever, for, very, for long hours, and then we try them, we eat them, and Helen takes them at home. So we really bonded over cakes. Nuts are great for holidays, they, you know, they bring all that kind of earthiness. Well, I think a bit of alcohol is very nice, a bit of brandy, rum, or rum. mixed spice, mixed spice. spices. Yeah, spices. I mean, spices are so holiday. Shall I help you? No, because I need to do one spoon at oh, a time. Oh, yeah, but I can do one spoon at a time. Thank you. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, very cute. The most overrated holiday dessert is the Bouche de Noël. I mean, it looks lovely, but I'm always disappointed eating it, I have it's to say. It's true. It's just a show, but it doesn't it's deliver all the flavours. Exactly. The most <laughs> underrated is a rolled pavlova, which we have in the book. Which it's, looks like a Bouche de Noël, but tastes it, better, it right? It tastes way better. It's meringue, but it's also filled with fruit and nuts. It's a modern Bouche de Noël, I would say. The best things to bring to a host are products that keep and travel well. So we have a, I can't say the um, Dutch name for ah, it. Ah, that's a full de speculaas. It's yeah. a sort of a, a stuffed biscuit with a kind of marzipan middle. Not only does it keep really well, it actually ages well, so yeah, that you, it, really it, it improves over time. Because things with spices actually improve with time. They do, yes. Everything blends and, and mixes up. Biscuit snaps and, and a cookie bends. Cookie bends. Cookie Cookies bend. bend. There's never a bad time for cake. There's never a bad time for cake. <laughs> I would say the ultimate festive cookie would be our cranberry oat and white chocolate biscuit. And I think another ultimate is the amaretti. Oh yes, that's yeah. delicious. So those are little chewy amaretti biscuits, really tasting of almond. My favourite childhood holiday treat would come from my Malaysian background. It's like a pineapple jam that's cooked with spices, star anise and pandan leaves. And then it's piped onto a really delicious short crust pastry. The Hanukkah uh, soufganyong, which are, like, yeah, which are um, essentially donuts. And they are normally uh, filled up with jam, but we have a uh, saffron custard to go inside and they're absolutely delicious, very rich. Fruit cake, absolutely fruit cake. Definitely, over every, any fruit salad. Followed by fruit salad, that's <laughs> what I would say. The meringue on a cake immediately raises it. It looks kind of regal and like a showstopper. Yeah, both so I think it, it adds visually a deal. and in the, in the flavor, isn't it? Exactly. When you uh, use meringue on a cake, it's very important that you've got something sharp or acidic in that cake. Just to counteract all that sweetness. We believe in pleasure. No not, guilt. No, no guilt. <laughs> Guiltless pleasures we believe in, yes. <laughs> I love meringues in not too much of it at one go, so I like to throw the bowl with cream and fruit and make a kind of mess. Right, right. The best way to eat the meringue depends on the kind of meringue. So if they're woodland meringues like these, just pop the whole thing in your mouth. May pop Strawberry and white chocolate? I'm going to have it. One. I'm going to have this one. Mmm. So good. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm.